Oh, goody. All right, what's going on, everybody? Zombies here again, and today we're back with another Marvel Snap video. Quick update, uh, I guess there was a small patch today, and it looks like it is dealing with some bug fixes and compensation. So this is kind of a follow-up to the video posted yesterday about the weekend missions ending early and not really hearing any information about that. Fixes and compensation, weekend missions. Whoops, this last set of weekend missions ended a bit earlier than intended. This was not an expected change and we'll be compensating all players with 200 credits. We apologize for the inconvenience. Okay, compensation's good. If you got your missions done already, you are essentially getting 200 credits for free. That's nice. I think a lot of people do get the credit portion of the mission done. Uh, the downside here is that they aren't really doing anything for the gold mission uh, or the token one. I don't think the token one is as much of an issue because I think that most people get that done in like five or ten minutes. It's three wins with that Dakin. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but the gold one, that's the one that actually takes a lot more time to finish. This one's was with Nimrod. Uh, obviously not everyone owned Nimrod. So maybe this was a thing of, well, they didn't want to give everyone 150 gold when everyone couldn't complete the mission. Same thing with the tokens. However, I think they've shown to have the technology to know, hey, these players have these cards. Uh, so they could have just awarded that gold to players who have Nimrod. And I think that would have been a much better fix for this issue. And I think overall, even though the credits are nice, a lot of the people who are unhappy are unhappy because they didn't get to complete the gold mission. Gold is the more valuable currency, especially now that it's so much harder to get. And this doesn't really do anything to fix that issue because that is really the only mission I think that's actually hard to get done on the weekends is those 15 wins with the either featured card or normally the season pass card. So overall better than nothing, but still not the greatest resolution in the world in terms of making people who are unhappy about losing out on that gold happy. It is nice to know, though, that this was not an intended change, so the weekend missions, for better or for worse, are going to be staying at that 72-hour range, which at least is nice for getting the missions done, if nothing else. Then we have bots and conquests. So this has been a pretty popular topic of discussion that we haven't really heard anything about in quite some time. We recently solved two issues that were causing bots to unexpectedly appear in conquest matches. Going forward, infinite and gold matches should only match against other opponent, player opponents. However, there's a few times you might see a non-player opponent in Proving Grounds or Silver Conquest. If it's your very first time playing Proving Grounds or Silver, if you haven't played Conquest in 40 plus days, if you hit an extra long queue time in Proving Grounds or Silver, you'll be matched against a non-player opponent. So it's nice to see them finally answer and acknowledge this, and it's really nice that Gold and Infinity Conquest are no longer going to have bots. Uh, yeah, there's not much else to say about that. And then Infinity Splittable Cards resolved an issue with a few more cards that were unable to be split past Infinity. Following cards are now Splittable, uh, Magneto Mech Variant, Iceman Mech Variant, Wolverine Anime Variant. So the new ones in the pass and the Conquest Shop, now you can split those. And yeah, that is our roundup for our bug fix and compensation stuff. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.